What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a simple inventory system. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder, um, just basically to have things more organized. Uh, but of course, you can, you know, organize it as you want. So, let's go ahead and create a new folder and I'm just going to call it inventory. Let's go ahead and enter and the first thing that we are basically going to create is a blueprint class and uh, it's going to be a actor component so it is a and here is going to leave our inventory and we're going to add it into any actor that we want in a case it will be a, a player later on but of course we could also add it into our own ai or whatever so it's very uh convenient to basically do it in a component so let's go ahead and do it bpc for blueprint components and inventory let's go ahead and create it and open it up Okay, so I'm gonna go just go ahead and delete this uh, begin play and the event tick. We don't need them right now. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new variable. Um, this is gonna be our inventory array. Okay, if you don't know what an array is, it's basically a list of items. Okay, and so literally we're gonna call it inventory. And basically it's gonna be an array of strings. We're gonna control our inventory in a very, very simple way which is just going to be by the name of the item itself. So we're going to go ahead and select the type string selected. And then in um, variable type, we can go ahead and click and add a, it to array. So now it will be collection of strings, not of just one string. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile this. So what we have to do right now is to implement the ability to add things into this inventory. So we're going to create one function. Let's go up here, create a new function, and this is going to be add item to inventory. So for this, what we're going to do is get our inventory, drag it, we're going to get it, and then we can just drag this and place an add node, which will basically um, add an item into our, our, our um, uh, array. So let's click add. Let's go ahead and connect this. And then what we can do is have an input into our uh, add item to inventory. So what we can do is just drag this and pin it over here. So basically right now, um, we will be passing the new item into uh, the inventory. Uh, okay, yeah. So we can go ahead and click save. And we can also go ahead and print this string of the new item to just make sure that it's basically adding. Okay, let's go ahead and make things a bit nicer. There we go. Okay, okay, so now what we're going to do is go into our uh, character blueprint. Now I will be using the third person uh, blueprint, but of course you can use the first person or your own class or whatever, okay? It will work for any type of blueprint, of course. So the first thing that we're going to do is in components, we're going to add our inventory component. So let's go ahead and use search uh, for inventory and we can go ahead and add it on here. We can leave the name like this and there we go. Okay, so now what we can do um, is um, create an interface to basically be able to pick up items from the floor, okay? But actually first, let's build the pickable item that's gonna be basically on the floor. So let me go into my inventory folder and let's go ahead and create a new uh, blueprint class, which is gonna be of type actor. It's gonna be our BP item now i do have an advanced pickup uh system an equipment system so if you want to check it out i'll be leaving it in the description um so yeah now let's continue so let's go ahead and open this item and i'm just gonna add a uh, static mesh to basically have a model um and you know for this example i'm gonna be using um i believe that i have a sword in this um project no, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna add a, a cube, okay? Just to have something. And I'm just gonna make it smaller because right now it's absolutely huge. And then uh, what we can do is, yeah, live like this. So let's add a new component, which is gonna be our collider, a sphere collision. This is gonna be the radius that we can interact with this item and basically pick it up. So this is going to be a basic large trigger, okay? Now, make sure that down in collision uh, presets, it's at an overlap of dynamic. 
Now in sphere radius, we're gonna make it uh, bigger, like for example, uh, something as 70. So if we are inside this radius, uh, we can basically pick up this item. All right, so now we can go ahead and compile and save. Let's go into the event graph and we're gonna create a new variable, which is gonna be item, uh, yeah, just item. And this is gonna be type of string. And then we're gonna go ahead and click this I, which will expose it in details panel. So basically we can uh, access it uh, later on and change its parameters since in the scene. Um, so in here we'll basically define what item it is. Okay, so now we can go back into third person map and we can just drag our BP item over here into the floor. Great. So now let's create an interface to basically be able to pick up this item. Now, if you don't know what an interface is, it's just a way of communicating, uh, communicating um, through blueprints um, without needing to cast directly into that class. That's my way of describing it, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and go and create a blueprints uh, interface. It's gonna be BPI um, pick up. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and you will see that we have a new function being created automatically. So we're gonna rename this into actually pick up item. Okay, so now we have to add an output which will give us the item that we are basically gonna go ahead and you know uh, pick up. So in here, yeah, a new parameter is gonna be item and uh, this is gonna be a string. So now we can compile and save and close this guy up. And then what we can do is go into class settings and add here an, inf an interface. It's gonna be a BPI pickup. And then we can double click in here and we'll have interface or the turn node. So what we would do is print here, uh, like a string, and it's gonna be um, item picked. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is return the item variable that we created earlier. So now we can go ahead and compile and save. So now let's go back into our third person character and I'm gonna go over here. And basically what I'm going to do is when I press the E key, we're gonna find uh, the items nearby and pick it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a for each loop. I'm gonna search for all the overlapping actors. Get overlapping actors. And then we can put a class filter that will be only for um, BP items. So now we can make sure that it does implement the interface. Um, so just avoid errors, BPI pickup, and then we can return value and make a branch. So we only do this if, well, it's true. And then in the array element, we can call our pickup item of our BPI pickup interface. And then it will return us our uh, item. So now we can just get the BPC inventory component and then we can go ahead and call the add to inventory function that we created earlier and then just plug in item into here. Okay, so now we can go ahead and go to press map, press play, and we can go into our item, press E, and you will see that we have a print going up into item picked. Really cool. So um, the next thing that I'm going to do is the item set it to be, for example, uh, let's say wood. Um, so you can see that you can apply the item um, just right directly on the, the details panel. So uh, one more thing I have to do is in the BP item, go into Vancraft, I create a custom event, which is going to be um, uh, destroy, destroy item. And this will just make a delay, small delay of 0.1 seconds. And then once it's completed, we'll uh, basically destroy this actor. This is because if we uh, do it directly, we destroy the um, um, the actor before we return it, it will not return anything because it's destroyed. And we cannot apply a delay on the function, so we have to create a custom event. So now we can call our destroy item, and there we go. So now uh, if we go ahead and pick it up, you will see that it will be destroyed and basically pick it up and you see that we have also a wood input over here. So now let's make our inventory widget, our UI to display our inventory. So let's go ahead and create a new widget uh, blueprint. It's gonna be a user widget, WP, and it's gonna be our inventory. So now let's go ahead and open it up. So once it's open, we can go ahead and go into the palette and add a canvas panel into here. There we go, close this up, 
and uh, now what we can do is basically add a um, vertical vertical box so we will basically have a list of all the items that we basically currently have so let's go here I'm gonna kind of center it over here move it as uh, you know, big as we want our item list to be and then you can just get the anchors and put it into the corners so it will resize correctly to the screen very important okay so now that we have that we can just place a text over here on top of this and uh, we can use uh, you know put for example inventory just to have a nice title and then we can use there and then put our anchors again over here okay compile and save so now we can go back in the third person character just up here i'm gonna press if i press the um actually tab tab key um i will go ahead and open this panel so got to do is get a flip-flop because we're gonna press it once to open it and then close it so in a what we're going to do is create a widget which is going to be basically our um uh it would be inventory the only player is going to be our get player controller as we are basically going to be controlling it and to return value it will um actually first of all right click and then promote variable so we have a nice variable and it's going to be the inventory widget and then from this we're going to drag from this and then add to viewports so uh, into the player's perspective screen and then in um, what we're going to do is go into p and drag our inventory widget and get it and convert it into validated get so and if it's valid we'll just remove from parent so we'll basically remove it and then we'll set it the variable to be just empty and right before we do create our um, our inventory, we can just drag this, get it, and then also a valid get. So if it's not valid, there we go. Okay, I just changed the tab to the E key. I don't know why the tab wasn't detecting it. I guess it's an unreal thing, but uh, now we press E. You can see that the inventory uh, title goes up there. So um, one last thing, we go here and um, Set input input to be uh, game mode and UI, and then what we're going to do is get the player controller, and then we're gonna set the mouse uh, show mouse cursor to be true, and then in here we'll uh, set input to be um game only and get again the player controller over here and then set the mouse to be showcasing false okay so now we press e i have the mouse you see the inventory okay so um i just missed a play controller here over here sorry there we go and now you will see that the mouse the camera doesn't move okay great so uh the next thing we're going to do is create our another item um sorry another widget that will basically add into this vertical um list over here so let's go ahead user interface widget blueprint user widget it's gonna be our wb underscore um item slot so let's go ahead and open it up and the only thing that we're going to need is a text. So just drag it into the screen. And then on, on here, you say um, the side on screen. So it will only be using this size, basically. So uh, on here, we're going to do just place item name as a text. And we can literally just compile and save for now. So now back in WB inventory, you will see that if I search for slot, I find my WB, WDP item slot, sorry. And if I pass it over here, you will see how it adds into the list. And if I start to duplicate it, it will be adding a say list basically, which is exactly what we want. So we're achieving what we want. 
So the next thing that we want to do is add it dynamically when we basically, you know, get an item and add it into the inventory. So go into the graph over here. I'm going to delete all this stuff. And we're going to create a new custom event that we'll call when we pick an item. It will be add item. Sorry, add item to um to list UI. <laughs> Maybe not the best name, but anyway. So we need now to access on um, this list over here. So just get here list. Sorry, list vertical. And this is gonna be is variable. So now it will appear here. We can get it. And literally we can just say add uh, child and plug it in. And now we can select the content. Uh, so in here, this is a widget of reference. So what we can do first is um, create it our widget. It's going to be a slot and then just get the return value into content and get on a player, get player controller. All right, there we go. So now if we go into BPC inventory, and into our function to add item to inventory. Um, right after here, what we'll do is access our um, player, uh, player's uh, inventory. So let's get, get owner into our third person character. And then we can plug this in over here. And now we can access our inventory widget and now we can call our function which is going to be um what was it list ui i item to list ui there we go so if now i press this and go here so you will see that we have our item over here um now there will be a problem in a second but let me open the item and press e and you will see that it's added to the list but now if i do go here get it and then open it you will see that it's not displaying this is basically how um, exactly we have an error what is happening is that basically we're creating a new widget every time and removing a new widget every time so we don't need that we don't have to do that so um, what we can do is get our inventory widget and instead of remove it every time we can set the visibility be visible on here when it's valid so the first time we'll have to create it but then no and then we we'll go back into here and then here instead of remove from parent we can again set visibility to be hidden and then plug it in over here we have to do one more thing because if we don't press that when we open when we get an item it will not be it will not be added so what we're going to do is go into the e here and then do this basically. Doom, and then beam, and then get it, and then set visibility to hidden. Sorry, we had to create the widget before. Uh, so let, let's get this. Let's move it before, paste it, plug it in. I know that this part is a bit confusing right now um, but it's just logical on how uh, basically right now is working uh, so now we can uh, basically pick it up and open inventory and we'll see that is already here great and so now we have to communicate the number uh, the name sorry of the item to you know add it on here so what we can do is on add in here and add an input which is going to be item name and this again is going to be string and then what we can do is go into the slot and we're going to make this the item name and basically mark this as variable compound set. so now what we're going to do is um get the value over here and it will be get um item name and then what we can do is just directly set the text. There we go to be what we receive on the item name. It will convert it to a string text. And now in the uh, third person here, uh, in the BPC inventory, sorry, 
we can just get the uh, the item name and just plug it directly over here so if I now go ahead and pick up the item and I go ahead and press E you can see that I have wood over here added into my item and now I can do the same I can basically duplicate this and put in here for example stone and duplicate it again and put for example um, uh, I don't know sword <laughs> so now if I press play you will see that I can start picking up all the items um, and you see that they start actually you know uh, being of light over here now you saw that it just replaced um, the item I just realized that we have two issues so in the Y and uh, when we set it to to be nothing let's go ahead and remove that plug it in directly and on here and uh, we have it on is valid but in sorry it's not valid to here but it's valid just that uh, plug it directly into the for each loop so now if I press play and I come into here I can pick up uh, all the items and open the inventory you can see sword wood and then I can pick up another item and then we have sword wood stone and that's it guys that's pretty much the inventory system i'm just gonna make one more change here in the inventory just to make it look a bit prettier i'm just gonna add some blur on it some black background blur and just put it over here kind of matching uh the area there we go and let's go ahead and put the anchors on each size over here there we go and then the blur strength is gonna be like 10 or 7 yeah 7 and then we're gonna make it on top of everything so it, it will not affect the text and uh, then I'm just gonna get a image put over here so let's just resize it done like this there you go uh, it will be black and then a point two of opacity, and then we can put it right on top of here, the background blur. Now we can compile and save. Um, actually, I just missed the anchors. Remember to plug it in. If not, when we change the uh, screen resolution, resize it, it will everything mess up. <laughs> so now if I press play, go pick up the items. And if I open the mentor, you will see that now it's a bit more peachy. Um, you can see that it has like a panel, uh, they're better displayed, of course. There's a lot of things to that, but yeah. So that's it, guys. If you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful, I really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials at this point, so if you want to check them out, go ahead. And with all I said, bye. -bye.